On this week's episode of Make It With Calvin, I'm going to be discussing why I feel like pulling a good machine like the Artillery 3D Sidewinder X1 out of the box and doing a bunch of upgrades to it, especially if you are new to 3D printing, really is not that good of an idea, and also giving my list of recommended upgrades to the machine. So let's dive into it. Okay, so unlike certain brands of machines whose names will not be spoken on here, but if anybody knows anything about 3D printing, they'll know who I'm referencing. There are some machines that definitely do require some TLC out of the box, mostly in the firmware department and or adding on external electronics. Thankfully, I have not had to do that on this machine. It came with thermal runaway protection included, has an SSR to drive the heat bed, all that good stuff. So don't have to worry about that there. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is I'm quite active on the Artillery 3D forum, and I've seen lots of people who are both new to 3D printing and buying the machine, running in there and going, oh my gosh, what upgrades do I need to make to the machine? And every single time I see that, there's like 10 people going, I did this, I did that, I did the other, and I jump in there and I go, hold on a second. There's nothing wrong with doing all that once you know the machine, but if you don't know how the machine behaves, Throwing on all those upgrades on there, especially if you're new to 3D printing, is a really bad idea. The reason why is because the machine has been set up to work with the way it's been designed. When you start modifying that, you can run into a bunch of issues, and at that point, tech support probably won't be able to help you, even if they want to, because they don't know what those upgrades are supposed to do. So the reason why I say that is I've seen a lot of people who were well-meaning going in there and upgrading their machine and swapping out a whole bunch of bits and stuff, and then they run into problems with the machine going into thermal runaway protection, or it's cooling the hot in too much, causing thermal runaway protection, or it's just not working right, or this or that. And you know, they're free to modify their machine, and I'm not, I'm not hating on people coming out with upgrades to the machine. I think that's totally awesome, it's totally cool. That's the beauty of 3D printing. It's your machine, you use it how you see fit. But my problem with it is, is when new people come along, see a bunch of people doing that, and assume that's what they have to do to their machine out of the box to get it functional, which in this case is not the case. Now, I'll be perfectly honest, I have not used any of those upgrades. I don't plan on using any of those upgrades. I plan on keeping the machine relatively stock. Now, you guys will know from previous videos, I have upgraded the nozzle and I have upgraded the heat break on the machine. But I would, I would say those are not even required upgrades out of the box. Those were just performance upgrades that were very easy to do. Being that I do plan on printing in higher temperature materials like PETG and ABS, having an all metal hot end is not a bad idea but not strictly required. You guys will also notice I have a flex plate on here. That's not required either. This is the TH3D brand flex plate that I'm doing in a long running shootout with the Wham Bam Systems flex plate and pretty much just seeing if either one is better or if even having a flex plate on here is totally worth it. The point being is out of the box, it's a very good machine. Learn how your machine operates, learn where the flaws are that you feel the machine has and then go along and fix those as you see fit. But the problem is when you start fixing things that don't need fixing, it causes things to get broken, it causes frustration, it causes people to get the wrong impression about things, and at the end of the day, nobody benefits from it. So I guess in conclusion, what I'd have to say is, it's a good machine out of the box, use it as it is. If it doesn't have any known safety issues, why upgrade it? Learn how it works and go from there. Hope you guys enjoyed, and for those of you who are building stuff, cool upgrades for your machine, don't take this as a diss. I think it's really cool that you're doing that, but this is more geared for the people who think that you gotta upgrade everything out of the box, which generally you don't. Have a good one, see you guys later.